The economic survey 2021 has been extremely clear about the changes that have taken place in 2019 during the COVID times and has projected an increase in terms of GDP to the extent of 11%. This is fortunate, which indicates also the responsibility of the finance minister in terms of the investments required to be pushed into their economy by the government. It also means that they will have to incentivize private sector investment to take place in the country's economy. Both these factors and looking at the fact that there are many sectors which are already showing a V-shaped recovery, a combination of the fact of what has already happened in the last couple of weeks and months as well as the expectation of what is going to happen with the vaccine is going to pull back the economy into a positive mode. All this cannot happen by magic and it will mean that a lot of attention will be paid by the finance minister in order to improve and improvise investment into the economy by the government directly in terms of roads, ports, highways, railways and other segments which are directly controlled by the government and or investments in the PPP mode or in disinvestment mode or in encouraging the private sector by pushing up demand. All this is a clear indication in the economic survey that the intention is to push towards a V-sector economy improvement and ultimately to meet the objective of the Honorable Prime Minister of creating a $5 trillion economy uh, which would of course mean that it would happen provided our 10% plus growth does take place in the economy. So all in all, it looks like the vaccine and the changes in the economic situation are looking positive for the country's growth.